In this video, we will examine the relevance of organizational structure to the accounting information system. Organizational structure is a system used to define a hierarchy within an organization. It identifies each job level, the function of each job level, and where it reports to within the organization. The structure is illustrated using an organizational chart. This structure is developed to establish how an organization operates and assists an organization in obtaining its goals to allow for future growth. A common method of structuring an organization that is of relevance to AIS is called business segmentation. Business segmentation is the process of dividing the organization into functional units. This structure groups employees into functional areas based on their expertise. Each business function focuses on a particular business resource of the organization. Each business resource has various relevant data that are captured, processed, stored, and distributed as information to different interested users. In AIS, it is vital to identify the functional unit responsible for each business resource and the type of transactions involving these resources that are of relevance to the business function. For example, the company sends a check to a vendor for the goods purchased last week. The type of transaction involved is payment. The business resource affected is cash. And the responsible functional unit is finance. Now, let us explore the responsibilities of the functional areas in a business organization engaged in the manufacturing of finished goods. We'll start with materials management. Materials management involves planning and controlling the materials inventory of the company. The firm must have adequate inventories on hand to meet its production needs and yet avoid excessive inventory levels. In order to achieve the objective, materials management has three sub-functions, namely purchasing, receiving, and stores. The purchasing function is responsible for ordering inventory from vendors when inventory levels fall to their reorder points. Also, purchasing manages and maintains good relationships with vendors. The receiving function accepts the inventory previously ordered by the purchasing function. Finally, the store's function takes physical custody of the inventory received and releases these resources into the production process as needed. The next business function is production. The production function is responsible for the conversion of raw materials into finished products. There are two activities in the production function, the primary manufacturing activities and production support activities. 
the primary manufacturing function is directly involved in the actual conversion of raw materials into finished products. The production support function is composed of production planning, quality control, and maintenance. It ensures that the primary production function operates efficiently and effectively. The next business function is marketing. The marketing function deals with the strategic problems of product promotion, advertising, and market research. On an operational level, marketing performs such daily activities as sales order entry. The distribution function will be the next in the discussion. Distribution is the activity of getting the product to the customer after the sale. This is a critical step to business organizations. Much can go wrong before the customer takes possession of the product. For example, damaged merchandise and excessive delays of delivery may result in customer dissatisfaction and lost sales. The business function directly associated with labor is human resource. Competent and reliable employees are a valuable resource for a business. The objective of the human resource function is to effectively manage this resource. A well-developed personal function includes recruiting, training, continuing education, counseling, employee performance evaluation, labor relations, and compensation administration. The next business function is finance. The finance function manages the financial resources of the firm through banking and treasury activities, portfolio management, credit evaluation, cash disbursements, and cash receipts. The finance also administers the daily flow of cash in and out of the firm. Another business function is accounting. The accounting function manages the financial information resource of the firm. In this regard, it plays two important roles in transaction processing. First, accounting captures and records the financial effects of the firm's transactions. Second, the accounting function distributes transaction information to operations personnel to coordinate many of their key tasks. Accounting is concerned with the reliability of the information. Reliability determines the value of information. Unreliable information results in poor decisions. The final business function is information technology. Like accounting, the IT function is associated with the information resource. It generally handles all of the technology that the business uses. This technology includes computer hardware, software, data, and telecommunication channels such as internet, extranet, and intranet. To recap, organizational structure facilitates understanding of the distribution pattern of responsibility, authority, and accountability 
which is essential for assessing user information needs. Segmenting the business by function helps understand the business resources and the tasks performed to handle business resources. Do you want to learn more? Click the video on the left screen for the next lesson.